kinds of extra noises today. Yeah. Hi, Exeter TV. My name is Darian Castro, and I'm here today with Eric Sinclair to talk about all things music. To start off, do you want to tell us how you first got involved with music or what inspired you to play guitar? Uh, I, I, I suppose I should uh, give credit where credit is due. And uh, when I was about 10 years old, um, there was a teenage girl who lived in the, with her family in the house next door to mine. And uh, she used to look after me after school before my parents got home from work. Uh, Jeanette was her name. And uh, back in the winter of uh, 64, she was a huge Beatle fan. She knew all about them. My parents weren't into pop music, so I probably never would have heard about them at all, but Jeanette was, was into them. So she played the records for me. She showed me pictures, told me who they all were. So uh, on that fateful day in February of 64, when they appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show, I was ready. I, I uh, was, uh, knew what was going on, and, uh, but really didn't quite know what to expect until they came on and played. So that was really the the beginning. I think I can trace it back to there. Uh, my favorite Beatle was Ringo. So I first learned how to play drums. Um, my parents bought me a snare drum and a, and a cymbal and I took some lessons from a Mrs. Preble who used to teach out of her house up on High Street. Uh, it wasn't until I was in high school and uh, wanted to, to, to write some songs that I uh, borrowed a guitar from a friend of mine who was in a band I was in. and. Um, Somehow taught myself a few basic chords, uh, E minor, D, stuff like that, and then uh, kind of took it from there. Um, but that was kind of really the source back then. All right. Kids are in bed, dishes are done. I was just thinking, would you like to dance? Hey, there's a good one, remember when? Step right over here and take my hand. What do you say, girl? Now's our chance. We can push back the table, stack up the chairs, I'll let the neighbors see us. I don't care. Turn it up a little and turn the lights down low. Here we go now. You do the pony, I'll do the swim. We can pretend that we're young again. Come on now, honey. Do you want to dance? Chairs, I'll let the neighbors see us. What do we care? Turn it up a little and turn the lights down low. Here we go now, dancing in the kitchen with the radio on. Dancing in the kitchen all night long. Just you and me, girl. Come on, let's dance. Dancing in the kitchen, gonna lose all blues. Oh, dancing in the kitchen, kick off your shoes. Just you and me, girl. Come on, let's dance. Dancing in the kitchen. Dancing in the kitchen. Just you and me, girl. Come on, let's dance. So you mentioned the Beatles 
but are there any other artists or genres of music that influence your playing? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, at that time, there was there was Bob Dylan, the Rolling Stones. I uh, actually, after about a year or so, sort of uh, graduated from the Beatles to the Rolling Stones. I listened to them a lot. I also used to also used to read a lot of music magazines, um, Rolling Stone, Downbeat Magazine, which is a jazz magazine. So I used to to read a lot about jazz players and blues players. Um, one of the first concerts I ever went to was BB King, um, and so really just kind of all sorts of stuff that way. Um, there was Guitar Player Magazine, Acoustic Guitar Magazine, which still exists. So all of these taught me about all sorts of different players. I've learned about Richard Thompson, um, learned about Marshall Crenshaw, um, players like that back in the, in the 80s and 90s, players still around. Um, I mean, I'm constantly being influenced by people. Uh, Gillian Welch um, is one of my favorites. Uh, I've been listening to a, a British musician named Frank Turner lately, um, and a jazz player, uh, Bill Frizzell, who's a, just a wonderful jazz player, been around for a long time, but I feel like I've just discovered him. And do you have a creative process you'd like to talk about in terms of either your own music or teaching others? Oh, wow. Those are really two different things. <laughs> Those are really very, two very different things. Um, I do primarily make my living as a guitar teacher. Um, and when I start students off, I really start them off with the, the same basic chords that I had figured out on my own. I all learn E minor, and I read somewhere once that was the first chord Bruce Springsteen ever learned, by oh. the way. So I figured, well, we're all in good company then. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, my own creative process is just, I don't know, I've never really been able to force it. It just, uh, if I have some inspiration and I have some time to pursue the inspiration, mm -hmm. um, it's usually words, some kind of a melody comes first, and mm -hmm. then sit with my guitar and try to find what key it's in. and what chords go well with it and it's kind of like I guess like sculpting you start with this big gob of stuff and chop pieces away and then come up with a eventually a finished product mm -hmm. um we've had Todd Heron on the show before and I know he also teaches at Phelps Exeter that's right have your careers like overlapped somehow in that way um well I I, I know Todd um and actually I've had the, the great pleasure of playing with him a few times um, we've done a few things um, at school, um, did some, uh, some, some folk stuff together. Uh, I remember one time we did the Stephen Foster song, Hard Times Come Again No More. Um, I think we did Wayfair and Stranger together once, some old folk tunes like that. But, but Todd's great. It's a real pleasure to get together with him. Don't do it enough, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. So. And are there any projects you have outside of teaching right now? Or is that more where your focus is? Um, well, yeah, pretty much my, my, my main work is teaching. Um, I do some, some things at home on my own. Um, I like to, to put together gu guitar instrumentals and, and just kind of these little sort of little one to two minute creations and do some home recording of them that way and just share them with my family not nothing too much beyond there okay. so um so nothing nothing too big at the moment mm -hmm. this one uh, has a little bit of the, uh, the the same kitchen in it actually a number of years later that's the song at uh ah uh, i sing this a lot these days Still, uh, still means different moments to be cherished, but still, uh, still something to be mindful of. Younger man at a table. Dining out with his small daughter Box of crayons, conversation Undisturbed by our loud burst of laughter My family's last supper 
Before my daughter goes back to school Between the ribs and the reminiscing How'd we get from there to here so soon? Tip the waitress another chuckle Bundle up and hit the road Tried to speak father to father Couldn't find the words till I got home Cherish these moments They go so fast Cherish these moments Can't make them last Watch them in wonder Don't miss a chance To cherish each moment Your days will dance After all, kitchen table Breakfast with my not small son Thought I knew fact from fable Gotta face the pace this race is run Cherish these moments They go so fast Cherish these moments Can't make them last Watch them in wonder don't miss a chance to cherish each moment and your days will dance. Younger man at a table Dining out with his small daughter Um, since you've per you've said you're from Exeter originally yep. um, What do you think makes the local music community so special in comparison to I guess like bigger places like Boston? Um well, I've never been part of the Boston music scene, so I kind of really don't know what it's like down there. But what I can say up here from what I know, and that I've enjoyed so much over the years, is just the, um, the diversity of styles of music that, that thrive around here. Yeah. Um, one of my colleagues at Exeter for a long time was uh, the jazz piano player, Tommy Gallant. And um, Tommy Gallant was, was just huge in developing jazz music in the area. Um, and it was just a, a great honor to be a, a, a friend and a colleague of his. Um, so the, the jazz scene, what goes on at the press room in Portsmouth, or mm. used to as far as jazz goes. Yeah. Um, and then just, uh, yeah, just, just all the places, the bars, the restaurants, um, the pubs now, the breweries used to be coffee houses and um, that will just provide venues for people to play. That's really what keeps it alive. You, you, said, you know, those of us who who sing and play and you know like you do we gotta have some place to play yeah, exactly. and it's just wonderful that the, the businesses do that i think that kind of tapered off for a while and i think it's it's been coming back mm. lately so um so i don't know it's just uh it, it's it's a it's a nice place to live nice area to live in and i think it's possible to to for working musicians to you know make at least part of their living doing that so this is a song for my my granddaughter Molly, she was born a year ago, May, and uh, came up with this one not long after she was born. Hey there, Molly, telling you the truth. Never been a granddaughter quite like you. Ooh, when I come to see you, give you such a kiss. Sing a little song, maybe something like this. La di da da, bo di o do. Hey, bop a re bop, the kitchen kind me. Oh, wah wah doozy, yap da do. 
Rudy Toot Toot and a Hoochie Coochie Coo. Well, hey, Miss Molly, this one's for you. Nice to have a granddaughter sing a little song too. When I come to see you, hoping there's a chance we can get together, maybe dance a little dance. La di da da, bo di yo do. Hey, bop, a re bop, a kitchen kai me, oh, wah, wah, toosie, yap, a dap, a doo, a rooty toot toot, and a hoochie coochie coo. Ah, la di da da, bo di yo do. Hey, bop, a re bop, a kitchen kai me, oh, wah, wah, to see, yap, a dub, a doo, a rooty doo, doo, and a hoochie coochie coo, a rooty doo, doo, and a hoochie coochie coo, ah. Do you have any advice for young musicians starting out, especially since you're a teacher of music? Um, well, practice, <laughs> that, that's one of them, um, and to, to listen a lot. I think listening to lots of different kinds of music is really important. Um, obviously, if you're, if you're going to try to learn how to play an instrument, it, it takes time. You just have to devote the time to it and um, realize that you'll play a lot of things that don't sound so good right away, but if you keep at it, they will keep sounding better and better. Um, I think it's really important if you're going to get into songwriting. I think it's uh, pretty important to learn songs by other people, to learn songs that other people have wrote. You'll get to know how, what chords go together, you know, what, uh, what a verse is, what a chorus is. Um, so if you pay attention when you're learning other people's songs, it can uh, give you some clues how to put music together and create music of your own. I guess really the big thing is it, it takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes time and energy and, and devotion to do it. Is there anything you've learned from your students' music or from teaching students that you wouldn't have learned otherwise as a musician? Um, absolutely. There have been, from the listening point of view, um, my students have, when they share favorite songs of theirs or they share music that they want to learn how to play. Um, it's exposed me to just a, a plethora of artists that I probably never would have heard of before. Mm -hmm. um, people who I sort of hear of the first time from a student and sometimes within a year or two these people are starting to, to be known on the on the public stage. Um, yeah. I remember the first time a student brought in a, a, a recording by Ed Sheeran. And I was like, mm -hmm. who's this guy? You know, yeah. and it was like, well, he's, he's this guy from England who's, you know, writing songs. So, Great, let's figure out an Ed Sheeran song. Um, remember the first time a student brought in something by the, the Indigo Girls. And again, they, you know, it was just somebody they'd picked up somewhere along the way. So, no, I learn a lot from my students. Um, I guess I also learn uh, that, it, that it's fun because, uh, you know, learning how to play and, and getting some facility on, on an instrument is a real enjoyable thing to do. And I hope to make it that way for them. And when I see them having fun like that, it, it carries over. It's mm -hmm. infectious okay, cool. that way. And before we close off, is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? Um, well, Darian mentioned, you know, the local music scene um, and that there are, you know, what's, how it is different or what it's like around here. Um, I guess all I would say is, is that when you're out at places and there's and there's musicians playing, um, try to pay attention to them. Um, those of us who have played in bars know what it's like to be to be sort of background music along the way, and 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 those of us who do it come to accept that and go, okay, you know, we can live with that. But it's when a person is performing, it's always nice when somebody in the audience looks at them, recognizes what they're doing, applauds, um, and gives some uh, some words of encouragement. So don't. Uh, don't, don't take a, a live music for granted because there's a lot of places that don't have it. Um, and we're fortunate to have some. Mm -hmm. This is a song. 
I've, I've made one album, actually I've made two, but I've, I've made, uh, the last album I did was a long time ago. Uh, it was called There Are Songs To Be Sung. This is the, the title song off of that album. Um, I sort of came up with the chorus of the song first and then uh, set myself the assignment of writing verses to go with each of the lines of the chorus. So there's a little, line, a little structure to it that way. songs to be sung, stories to be told, there are hearts to be won, and smiles to unfold, there are bridges to be built, roads to be walked down, there are dreams to be shared, and secrets still to be found. Whoa, do, do. There are songs so good, songs that must be heard. There are songs that are more than melody and words. There are stories from the past, stories from the heart. It's the stories we tell that tell us apart. There are songs to be sung, stories to be told. There are hearts to be won and smiles to untold. There are bridges to be built, roads to be walked down. There are dreams to be shared, and secrets still to be found. Oh, do, 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 do. There are hearts in need, hearts that must be healed. There are hearts that don't know how good a heart can feel. There are smiles inside, smiles that have learned. There are smiles that don't get a smile in return. There are songs to be sung, stories to be told. There are hearts to be won and smiles to unfold. There are bridges to be built, roads to be walked down. There are dreams to be shared and secrets still to be found. Oh, do, 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 do. There are bridges that connect, bridges that provide. There are bridges that can span the widest divide. There are roads we've come, roads fly ahead. There are roads we could have taken instead. There are songs to be sung, stories to be told. There are hearts to be won and smiles to unfold. There are bridges to be built, roads to be walked down. There are dreams to be shared and secrets still to be found. There are dreams so real, dreams that we embrace. There are dreams we can catch, and some that we just chase. There are secrets we pursue, secrets we employ. There are secrets we clutch like a brand new toy. There are songs to be sung, stories to be told. There are hearts to be won and smiles to unfold. There are bridges to be built, roads to be walked down. There are dreams to be shared, and secrets still to be found. Oh, do, 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 do.